bottom of my heart for allowing Shlomo to touch me, my wife, my family. We thank God that Shlomo has given us light and may that light, may that light grow from strength to strength. Thank you so much, my beautiful friends. If I could impose upon you, could you please give a very big hand to all my beautiful musicians here who are just so special. Yeah. Where's Robert Bravender? He's still here? Where's Robert Bravender? Oh, good. My beautiful, because I want Rab Meir and Rab Chaim to say a few words in a few minutes. Here, I'll call upon you. My beautiful friends, could you please Settle down for a few minutes, let's sing a soft song. And uh, friends, please. Friends, please. Quiet here, quiet. Friends, I'm asking you, please. I'd like to sing a soft song and then another strong song. You know, my beautiful friends, You know what the world needs most You know what you and I Our children, my children, your children Are the children of the world All our beautiful children, wherever they are, you know what they need There's a toilet, there's a teaching. There is a holy teaching. There's a holy teaching. Rabbi Lay with Okay, my beautiful friends. I know that we are the best friends. Mr. Shamala, come here. I want you to know something, friends. Could I have your attention, please, friends? You know, friends, please. As far as I'm concerned, I judge people by how much they have respect before children. Nothing else matters to me. Okay, my beautiful friends, I want you to know I, my family and I, we will never, 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 never be able to thank the Almighty, but thank the Moshav for giving us a house there. Where would we be without the Moshav? You know, friends, I don't think, I cannot imagine myself as all those beautiful people on the Moshav. I just, I can't imagine myself. I cannot imagine myself waking up in the morning and not seeing Onuku and Devaya and all those little kids running around on the street of the Moshav. Do you know how beautiful our children are? Your children. Do you know how beautiful our children are? Give out of their beautiful. One more deep, one more holy. And uh, I want you to know, the Shomel and I were just on the Moshav a few weeks ago. So the Shomel is still I know she thinks of the Moshav every split second. So Moshav wants, Neshamala wants to thank you in the name of all the children. Can okay, you say a few words? Give her the biggest hand. Well, just give it. 
Thank you. Um, I want you to know that there are 67 kids on the Moshev. And on their behalf, I would like to thank each and every one of you and my father for coming tonight. And hopefully in the future, you'll come to Modi'im and they can all thank you personally. Thank you. Dari, you want to say something? She wants to? Okay, Dari, fast. Just say two words. Yeah. Okay, Dari, I want to say Say it. Say thank you so much. Can you say I read it? It's so beautiful. Should I read it for you? No, you want mommy to read it for you? Gary, 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 I don't have so much time. Okay, you said. I've been delegated as a, it's a wonderful honor to read for you Dari's speech. Because Dari's a little shy and she would like me to tell you what she wanted to say. This is a poem Dari, Dari wrote called My Shining Father. My Shining Father. I have a shining father. He is the greatest person. His name is Shlomo Karlbach. He travels all over the world playing guitar and making people happy. This is a poem I wrote about my father. It's true, but it doesn't say all the wonderful things about my father. I love you, Daddy, and I'm so proud of you. Poem by Dari. <laughs> Shlomo would like me to say something about the Moshav. <laughs> it's very hard to tell him about, it's hard to talk about the Moshav as it is as it is to talk about Shlomo. I think probably what to tell you is a story about a woman who I really don't know at all, but this is a story that she told. She met Shlomo in Jerusalem, and she said she really wasn't very religious at all. She came to Israel because it was a thing to do. And Shlomo said, you gotta come to the Moshav. Please come for Shabbos. She said, so I drove to the Moshav, and I got there, she said, and everybody loved me so much. And everybody was so kind to me. And everybody sang. She said, it was so wonderful. I got up in the middle of the night and I ran home. I went back to Jerusalem. I couldn't handle it. And I got there and six o'clock in the morning, I was still walking back and forth in my hotel room saying, why did I leave? She got back in the car, drove back to the Moshe by eight o'clock so people wouldn't know that she was gone. The Moshav is magical, it's wonderful, and it's true. There's no place in the world where you get so much love, feeling so much alive. And I bless us all to be there one day. Thank you. Amen. Okay, my friends, I have to say something. Baruch Shem, Ne'ila said a few words, but right now, I don't care if you want to or not, I need Claire to say some holy words. Claire. <laughs> I want you to know Claire is one of the mothers of the young children on the Moshav, and we are so proud of her son. We are so proud of Michael. And we're even more proud of you and Bob. Just say anything. <laughs> I have no holy words, really. <laughs> but thank you all for coming. It's been wonderful to have you here, and this is my good friend, whom I owe a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know, friends, I want you to know that Bob and Claire saved our lives. Mamish saved our lives. I want you to give them the biggest hand in the world. Okay, my friends, 
I need one more strong dancing and then we'll be soft again because there are two people I know who, who I cannot have like a celebration without asking their blessing. And this is my, my friend Rabbi Fund, the Cohen, who's learning with me for 200 years, and Rabbi Bravender, who is one of the Rosh Hashivas. And uh, if you could like make your way up here, and in the meantime, I'm singing a song, okay? Rabbi Bravender and Rabbi Fund, come up here so I won't have to. Okay. Return again. Return again. Return to the land of your soul. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are born and reborn. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not aware that it is recorded in Jewish history that there was a dinner to honor the Baal Shem Tov or Maimonides or our great teacher Moshe Rabbeinu. And the reason is that the truth is that in a world in which do recognition and due awareness is given to its teachers and its rabbis, there is no need to have a special evening, a special occasion, because all the time, every day, every week, in a wholesome, whole Jewish world, the rabbis, the teachers, the givers of life are recognized and honored. We are here tonight not because Rabbi Shlomo Kalbach needs our honor, but because we need to know that he deserves it. It is not for him, it is for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I merely want to add that in the teachings of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev it is said that when you give honor, you give life to a person. Shlomo has given of his life, literally his life, and I hope tonight we are giving him back long life and long days. Okay, where is Rab Chaim? Fast, Rab Chaim. Heilige Rab Chaim. Rab Chaim, where are you? Rab Chaim, where are you? Very brief. You know, it really makes me feel good. Sh just a second, just a second, just a second. I feel very good. On the way here, from my table to this microphone, no fewer than 34 people asked me to be very brief. 
I haven't started yet. I want to, I want to take this opportunity. I want to take this opportunity to publicly thank Shlomo Kalbach for a small thing in my life. I didn't say what it is yet. Just a second. You know, I am, I am uh, what's known in the popular parlance as a lifer. You know what a lifer is? A lifer is a person who unfortunately is not a Balchuva. <laughs> who had the sad fortune to be brought up, you know, and go to Jewish schools and study in yeshivas and never learn that there was something missing until Shlomo Kalbach came along. And Shlomo Kalbach, I met Shlomo Kalbach a long time ago. But Shlomo Kalbach taught me that I could also daven only a short time ago. And I want you to know, I want you to know, I think there isn't a person here in the room, outside of the room, any place in the world who hasn't got to learn that lesson a little bit. Now there's a place in Eretz Yisrael called Modi'in. There's a place in Eretz Yisrael called Modi'in. And it doesn't really have to interest us if it's 25 miles from here or 20 miles from there or 50 plus miles from nowhere. What has to interest us is that if we work at it and we give it the support it needs, there'll be a place in the world that we can all go to when we need it and learn a little bit about davening. That's what this evening is about. And if you can bring yourself to see that little bit of clarity in our world, you'll know why it is that we have to support Shlomo Kalbach. It's a matter of bracha. That's all it is. A small thing. He gives away to those who are need him so very much. And we have to give a little bit just to make sure that we can keep getting it. It's all selfishness, my friends. It's just for us. Modi'in, it's the place. I don't know why. I don't know who picked it. I don't know why Shlomo's there. I haven't got the slightest idea, and I don't care. But you and I, we need that place a little bit. And we've got to make sure that it's there so that we want to daven, we can come and daven. I'll see you. Be well. Okay, we're going to D major. Anybody didn't get up to dance here, it's your last chance.
know, my friends, one second. Okay, we're just begin. I know we have to bench, I know it's late. But here's my friend, Reb Reimstern. Aziz Yid, the Heilige Yid, one of my friends who supports me all the time. And if he says something to me, how can I say no to, to a brother like this? Okay, and he's right. Is Abi Weiss still here? He left. Okay, friends. There's so many Yidin tonight in Abyssinia, in Russia, everywhere in the world, and I wish they would all be here. I wish they would be here. Mama, I want to pour my heart before God, you and I, and pray that all of us, all of us should be together soon. Mamish, I want to sing Am Yisrael Chai and all the Yidin, wherever they are, B'chol Mokim Shem. We should be with them, B'simcha and Mamish. Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, from Aya, Michael, Alon, Abel, Gabi. Thank you, Shamale. Thank you, Dari. Thank you, my brother. Hey, good job, Dave. Good job, Dave. Thank you.